Network slicing is a new concept for cellular networks. We started to see attempts towards network slicing in 4G, but it wasn't until 5G that we really saw end-to-end -end network slicing come to the fore. But what exactly is it? Well, on the diagram, we've got the physical infrastructure that would be the 5G service provider's network. And a network slice is essentially an overlay onto that network. It's a virtual instance of a 5G network, which is using the underlying physical 5G infrastructure. So for this particular network slice, we've designed a slice specifically for a use case, which happens to be voice services. And crucially, when we design the slice, we design it with specific attributes and characteristics. So the slice for voice services is going to be very centric towards low latency, guaranteed bitrate type data delivery. But that's potentially just one customer. We could develop different network slices for different services and use case scenarios. So here we've got a V2X network slice centric towards ultra low latency, very high reliability. We've got a network slice related to IoT, where we would be dealing with a very high connection density, potentially millions of devices, but relatively low data rates. And then finally, we've got a different IoT slice that doesn't necessarily have a high connection density, but it certainly does have low latency requirements. Now the point is, we've got several different network slices here, which all have different characteristics designed for different customers. And that's what network slicing is really all about. It's about monetizing that 5G network. It's about moving beyond just the consumer market into many, many more verticals, allowing that mobile service provider to accrue revenue from their 5G infrastructure, much more revenue ideally, than what was encountered in 4G. Now, network slicing conceptually is fairly straightforward, but the engineering side is not, because with an end-to-end -end network slice, you can see that there are several areas of the network that you need to be dealing with. So we've got the radio access network side of 5G, we've got the core network side of 5G, and we've actually got the underlying transport network as well. So this is the transport network that shifts all of the data between the various network functions of that 5G network. So they all need to be slice aware and they all need to be provisioned with the correct characteristics for each and every network slice. So there's a huge amount of management and orchestration of network slicing that will go on behind the scenes. It's a complicated piece of engineering to ensure that when a particular customer uses their network slice, they receive the service experience that they're essentially paying for.